The sleepy Midlands Meander is home to a thriving microbrewery. The Nottingham Road Brewing Company has been in business since the mid-90s, long before the craft beer boom. These brews are defined by a personal touch, and that's the key to their success. The man behind the brewery says his secret is to always remember the market he serves. The biggest problem is that people look at um, the micro industry or the craft beer industry and think that they're going to become another SAB. That's not the case. You need to be passionate about beer. You need to have, be focused on keeping your distribution small and uh, within a, a certain radius so that you don't, your overheads don't get too high and you just supply the local market just like they do in Belgium and Germany. So experts say the number of microbreweries in the country is growing and there's never been a better time to be in the business. But let's find out exactly what the specialized beer buzz is all about. This pub stocks a selection of local and international craft beers, which are proving to be popular. Every now and then I enjoy something a little bit different, a little bit more uh, hearty, something with a little bit more soul. Definitely, definitely worth the extra bucks. And you've got to pay for quality, yeah. It's got a completely different variety of flavors, and it's also something that you can't just get everywhere. Priced higher than regular ales and lagers, these beers are for true enthusiasts. We're probably doing about uh, maybe 20 to 30 bottles a week at times. Yeah, it, it, as I say, it is a certain demographic. There is guys that will purely come in for that. It would seem then that the beauty of craft beer is truly in the eye of the beer holder. Desen Thathia, Durban. News that moves. ENCA.com.